Three, two, one, and go. What's up, guys? It's Carter, aka Tim2009, with a new Thomas Wooden Railway video. So, today's gonna be kind of a different type of review since I'm reviewing um, the number one engine himself, Thomas, but not just any Thomas. Um, this here is my 1994 Wooden Thomas, as I've already reviewed before. This guy um, is pretty cool and all, but for some reason, I decided to get the 1999 Wooden Thomas because. I remember having 1999 Thomas when I was a kid, like, when I was four years old, I used to have these older designs of the characters. For some strange reason, I don't know why I had these guys. In my opinion, these guys look a little bit ugly to me. Is that the little kid's version? Um, this is the 2002 version. Oh. So, it's made by the same people who made this, but I really don't know why they had to change this guy and make him look weirder. Like, I don't know who was complaining about this design, because this is a more accurate looking Thomas because of his face. I mean, mm -hmm. his proportions may not be accurate, but his face is what probably matters. I mean, I do know why they changed his um, funnel here to make it more accurate. Because that's only like a minor change. But there's just like some parts to this 1994 Thomas that make him charming and nostalgic for my taste. I, I didn't have this one as a kid, but... I did have the 1999 Thomas. So this is the guy I use in videos. I wasn't going to use my 1999 Wynn Thomas in my videos because I have this guy, but I just thought it would be nice to add to the collection. So let's get started. And I've already like opened him like before because I wanted to get a good look at him. So let's talk about this guy. So here we have the 1999 Wynn Thomas. The date on the bottom of the wheels actually says 2000, but I'm just calling him the 1999 Thomas. Because this was the first year that they did make this guy. Okay. And the thing that's interesting is that he doesn't have a name on the bottom like this guy here. So I think I did have the one with the name on the bottom, but this is just a new version to me. So there are like some sort of differences that do make this Thomas a little bit cooler, but I just like Thomas's funnel here because you can see how accurate it is to the show compared to like this funnel here. So there are a lot of key differences here. Like I'm not sure if the face has changed or anything, but it's supposed to be like that same season three accurate face. They do kind of look similar, though. I probably might like this one a little more. Is this one a little bit bigger? Um, Unless it's the way you're holding it, it looks bigger. He's still the same size. He's got... Yeah, but the face. Oh, it is the same size. From the camera angle, there's something different about it. I mean, the boiler is the same skinny size, yeah. which is cute. Unlike the this. The eyes are closer to the edge of the face, almost. Yeah. So... When you compare him to this Thomas, you can see how much better this one is compared to this one. Is it getting video of it here? Yeah, I think this one's a lot more better. The bottom one or the top one? The top one. So, um, I mean, let's see the back. Oh, yeah, the back around. So oh, yeah, it's very different. Yeah. So, it does really make me confused as to why I am got dragged into playing with this guy even though he was trash but I always really loved this guy here like Tom Swin Rowey was part of my childhood and this guy was one of the um, childs in my um, collection well everybody that collects lots of different versions of the same thing has some that they prefer like it does make me confused as to why they have to redesign these characters over and over again like what's you the you know why they do it right um I don't even see the point of that so that like, they sell more like as I said before, I don't think anyone was complaining about this. Yeah, like, but they do it so they can sell more. So every year, honestly, more people like, will buy them. if Mattel like just kept this guy and gave him the CGI face for their new models, I would have been pleased, and mm -hmm. I would probably be the ones to buy him. Like, maybe they'll start listening to all of you guys that make videos on YouTube um, and ask you guys what you think. Well, Mattel doesn't listen to us. They are blind to negative criticisms. Really? Yeah. I would think as many of you as there are now that all congregate on YouTube, they would start listening. There, the difference is, is between the wheels here, like... Let me see. Hold it real slow. I also oh, found yeah. it interesting... The spokes are a lot deeper. Like, how much older these wheels are compared to these new this ones. This one is flat, and this has, a like, a divot in it. But I still prefer these wheels over the new wheels that Mattel made, which are awful. 
What do the new so, ones look like? Um, Are they well, flat? I've shown you what the new wheels looked like already, but okay. they do have pictures of the new wooden trains, and I still think they're bad. Mm -hmm. I'm also surprised that they didn't make them into All Engines Go characters. They just like made them the CGI Thomas trains. What is the year for the newest wooden Thomas? Um, 2021. So Thomas Wooden oh, Railway so is back. It still has his old name, but the trains themselves look weird. The one you hate the worst is the one where it's bare wood, right? Um, well, not entirely. I'm just glad that Mattel made them fully painted. I just think that the wood Thomas looks a little accurate, but even if that's the case, no one can still beat the classic Thomas Wooden Railway, mm -hmm. which is exactly why I've started to collect these again. All right. So... Honestly, I probably didn't know why I um, decided to, like, when I got the CGI Thomas, which looked like this, I, for some reason, painted over this guy. But I just, but this is going to be my permanent wooden 1999 Thomas. So, yeah. Anyways, um, another difference is the shade of blue here. Like, I was going to say, the color in the video looks a little bit different. Like, this guy looks to be a little bit darker, mm -hmm. which I didn't notice. This one is a little bit light, but... That one's more turquoise. He's still a little satisfying color. Which do you think is more accurate to the show? So, I think this Thomas is more accurate, though. I'm probably not going to use this guy in my videos. I'm going to be using this one, but... Again, I thought this would be nice to add to the collection. Uh -huh. And I just wanted to feel a little nostalgic. So, I think that's all I have to say about the 1999 wooden Thomas. So, if you guys are a fan of this 1999 Thomas, tell me in the comments below. And if you guys do not have this, Thomas, you should definitely buy it. Because it's a lot better than this one. If there are some people who do have this, I really don't know why they do. This guy looks a lot more better. And it may not be accurate, but it's still good nonetheless. Alright. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.